Instead, it's Casimir Allen. He breaks free. Casimir Allen set the California state record in the 100 meters at 10.4. He goes 74 yards. A UCLA touchdown. Howdy, y'all. Welcome to Adventures with Kindle. Today, we have a very special guest. He's a third generation football player at UCLA. His dad and grandfather were players in the Green Bay Packers, and his grandfather was a player in the very first Super Bowl game. I can't wait to introduce you to this guy, so pack up your football gear and let's head down to UCLA. The story of UCLA is a grand one. Founded in 1881 as the southern branch of the California State Normal School, the current location was built in 1923 in Westwood, California. This was built after the previous location on Vermont Avenue exceeded the 25-acre property by 3,000 students. This included buying the estate from the Jazz Brothers, who agreed to sell the property for $1 million, less than one-third of the land's value. As of 2016, the total enrollment of students is 44,947. Since 1919, UCLA has a great football team. Some of the notable players include Baseball Hall of Famer Jackie Robinson and today's guest, Shea Pitts. Grandson and son of Green Bay Packer players Elijah and Ron Pitts respectively, Shea will become a third generation football player and I can't wait to introduce you to him. Come on, Shea Pitts. What's up, everyone? I'm Shea Pitts, and I'm just here to show you all around my campus, show you all what my daily schedule is, and I'm excited to have you guys, and you're going to see the best school in America. No debate. <laughs> also, we're learning about football because, unlike most of you, I know little about it other than watching it. Yeah, I'll teach you a little bit about the game. Pretty simple. You got four plays to get 10 yards. I play defense. Don't let them get four plays in 10 yards. So that's, that's, that's the gist of it. Pretty set and stuff. <laughs> so... I've seen this field and where it looks like people golfing. What do you use it for? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can golf. It's pretty long enough. You can use it in driving range. But nah, this is the field when I first came in as a freshman. This is where we were working on. This is where we had our practices because we used to be over there, but it was under construction. So we did all our activities and stuff on this field. And this summer, because of the whole quarantine, our building was shut down. So we worked out, did a lot of practice on this field too. It's all really good stuff. but. Now, since everything's kind of getting under, uh, COVID's getting more under control, we're going back into our building and we've been working out over there, but it's off limits right now. I, can't, I would love to show you around, but we're not allowed to, but yeah, this is the area that we, we work out anytime we're not allowed to work out in our facility. And a, a lot of the time, actually, we get a lot of athletes and celebrities that come here too. This off season, uh, Deshaun Watson, the quarterback for the Houston Texans, is working out here. After that nice chat at the practice field, Shay took us to the Westerman Football Center. So I'm going to ask, what's the schedule like and the routine like? Because I've seen the classmates in my high school looking big and tough, and I never knew, and I don't really know what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, so pretty much I'm a defensive back. Like, I'll go into my position. I'm a defensive back, so I cover the receiver. Receiver tries to run the route, catch the ball from the quarterback. Basically, I want to make sure he doesn't catch that ball. So it's like if you've got your hand out trying to catch the ball, I'm going to try to take it from you and make sure that the defense doesn't let the team catch the ball. And I come up and try to sack the quarterback sometimes. A little bit, a little mix up and everything. Our first schedule is pretty much just like work out every day. But on the days we don't work out, we practice. We're in the off season right now, so we're just working out a lot, meeting with our coaches. But once the season starts, the practices kick up, and we have all our practices there pretty much. And it's a lot, but it's worth it, especially when, when things come out and after the season for winning it. Everything's in a good benefit. Ah, yeah. When you say. Wait, you're part of the tackle group? Yeah, I can tackle the other team. So, in my humorous mind, you got the worst end of the deal, where you have to take the blunt while everyone, while everyone else is grabbing the ball and running for it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, exactly. I like it good. I like to tackle someone versus getting tackled, because at least you control what you're doing. If you're running with the ball, you can't really control who's hitting you. Now I can control and tackle the person when I want to. I would be the runner because I will run really far. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> see, I, yeah, I just, I just don't like people tackling me from what I don't know. At least I can control the tone. So if you have the ball, I can make sure I can tackle you and set the tone when I want to and not get hit by someone I'm not looking at. Well, you know who I'm I, you know if I'm the runner because I'll be screaming while doing that. <laughs> it's like, I love it. Some people do do that. Some people get like start screaming running the ball, but most people at this level aren't very scared. <laughs> well, that's, that sounds like fun. Yeah, it does. Interesting. What a beautiful field like this. I can see why you guys have the best campus. 
But I'm gonna ask the big question, what got you into football? Well, I've always been a football my whole life. My dad played and my grandpa played, but I'd see pictures of them across, around the house, my grandpa for the Packers, and I'd be like, oh, I wanna do that one day. I see pictures of my dad for the Packers, and I'm like, okay, this is definitely something I wanna do, and I'm like, I'm not gonna be the first person in three generations not to play football. So it was kinda, always just growing up around the house seeing those things, it was on in my blood, like, this is something I have to do. And then an opportunity to come to UCLA came, I'm like, how am I gonna turn this down? Same place my dad went, same place my mom went. It's a perfect story, so get to play on this beautiful field every day to win-win. You know, you can't, it, it, it doesn't get much better than this. I tell you guys that before, and now you see the field. It really doesn't get much better than this. It makes waking up at 5.30 in the morning a lot more worth it when you come to a field like this. That's kind of like me. I grew up in uh, mostly creative. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, so what you, like, what you see growing up, like, when you see pictures on the wall, just, it's what, you, what you're around, and my dad was always doing the broadcasting things, talking about football, I'm just like, okay. This is something I love. So like it just I, I couldn't I couldn't turn down. I kept begging my parents, let me play tackle football, let me play tackle football. I'm like, no, you're not going to until you're older. And then I got fifth grade, which is older, right? And then they're like, yeah, it's time for you to go. And ever since I had contact for the first time, I'm like, yeah, I, I, I'm not, I love this game. So still 10, 11 years later, you get to wake up and do it every day. So sometimes it's tiring and I'm like, oh, I don't want to get up. But then at the end of the day, it's a blessing to be able to play the game this long. Hopefully we'll be able to play at the next level too and continue this dream. I'm Shay and the other UCLA athletes are among the elite. A record number of Olympians representing the USA have been UCLA athletes. You have been walking for a while and I ha couldn't help but notice this. Yeah. What is this place? This is the UCLA Athletic Hall of Fame Center. So every important person throughout UCLA history, you got Troy Aikman, Jackie Robinson, John Wooden, um, all that Russell Westbrook, Kevin Love, they all have stuff enshrined in there and all that information. I actually worked there as a sub summer job for the past two summers. Couldn't do it this year because of COVID. But yeah, all my dad, when he was here uh, winning a lot, they got all the Rose Bowl pictures up. And it, so it was cool going in there and seeing all my dad's stuff in there. I'm like, wow, I need to do that. So then my kids can be like, yo, look at your stuff. So oh, that awesome. is inspiration. But yeah, it's a really cool place. No problem. And yeah, any, any NFL team that wants to sign me, you know, I'll play. I'll play for a little cut price too, it doesn't matter. It's more about the idea of playing. <laughs> is there any way we can follow you on social media? Yeah, we got Instagram is Shay underscore Pitts. You got Shay like the butter underscore P-I-T-T-S. You got Twitter, Shay Pitts 20. My high school number, I should probably update it, but we're lacking on that. And I think my, I have a TikTok, not really on it that much. Throw a couple of videos on once, every once in a while. Shay underscore Pitts on that too. So uh, all right. you can holler at me if you want. <laughs>
And it was a great time being with you, and I'm so glad we got to do this. And now Thank let's you. say to the audience what I always say. May, May your gifts bless, bless the world. world.